Um, the following interview was conducted with John White, TC, Distinguished Cranet Professor for the Purdue University Oral History Program. It took place on Monday, September 13th, 2010 at his residence in West Lafayette. This is part two. The Thank interviewer you. is Catherine Marquis, the Oral yeah. History Librarian. Welcome, Professor okay. C. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we'll we'll continue with uh, working with the Craner people. Then. Yeah, I, I was working with uh, Mr. I start, how the Craner School got started, okay? Uh -huh. And uh, at, the, at the meeting at the Athletics Club, uh, after all the faculties, I made a presentation, and, uh, and George Elliott and Mr. Craner talked to me, asked me, uh, if I'd be interested to help them to solve a problem. <laughs> and then, and I, of course, I said I'd be glad to. And uh, they, the problem they have is at that particular time, they have already grown big into, and they start from one box plane in Indianapolis, what they call plane number one. And that's pretty good. They have about 20 planes, uh, mostly on the east of Mississippi. The one in, in California, and then three paper mills. Uh, then the paper mill it provides the raw material for the for the board that makes the boxes. cotton box makes the boxes. Okay, then they didn't have any the experience in running paper mills, so what did a very smart way. <laughs> uh, they joined hand with the meat corporation, which is a paper company. And so their plan, I mean, the three plants, paper mills in, uh, in Georgia were jointly owned by Meat and England, but operated by Meat. And in, but it's very interesting. They run one day for Meat, one day for England. That's the, the scheduling. Okay. <laughs> so, so the England, uh, they just got they consolidated all the orders, the requirement of the paper board paper they need in Indianapolis and send over to Georgia and they, they get some more and they have a run over there. And then of course they they also built a very new uh, box plane right next to the mill, which comes out which goes into the box okay. Then at that particular time when they talked to me, the company is doing well, they are making money. They got a problem. They were losing money on the box plan division. And but they were, but paper mill was making money. Okay, and one should look into that to tell them what to do. <laughs> and I look into that, and uh, they really uh, the problem come back to the classic. I mean the. Uh, management problem of the integrated operation is a transfer pricing problem. When you provide the paper to the box plane, at what price do you transfer it over? Okay. And uh, they say, it's market price, of course, based on market price. Uh, now what is market price? Okay, the posted price, post price, and then at that particular time, about $100 a ton market price, okay. And uh, well, this is just like we talk about crude oil, it goes seventy-seven dollar today. Okay, I mean, and uh, but the thing is, really, if you're an independent uh, box company, you don't pay the the, the crude oil or, or, or refinery. You don't pay the seventy-seven dollars a crude. Oil. The price you paid always different from <laughs> the whole one. But they based upon. Um, so they had hundred dollars is based upon the post supply. That's what they are going. And of course, they they got a number uh, of vice president over there who were previously they were owners themselves. They even you know, bought their, their company and merged. Okay, then they become vice president of the company. And they told me, John, that's not right. You know, uh, when I run the company, I don't pay hundred dollars. And sometimes you know, I, we may depend on market quality. I may pay ten dollars. Sometimes pay. Ninety dollars, okay, and at that particular time, it, it's ninety dollars, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, I say, I mean, to tell me, if if you really think the boss company is losing money, get rid of it. It's pretty simple, right? You cannot get rid of it. The p 
people, they cannot sell the tape. If they sell to other people, it's not it. <laughs> they sell to the world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a problem. Okay. And uh, so I, I take it up and I, I look at the financial record. It is okay. Of course, they got a VT finance. That's all his number, okay? Because he said they're losing money. That's all his numbers. VT finance number, okay? Because of all these things. So I present what I, what I found <laughs> to the top people, <laughs> including the VT finance over there. <laughs> oh, he was so mad. <laughs> Yeah. And he walk up and left <laughs> at that particular meeting. And then Mr. Craner and uh, George, of course, of course they, they understand. I'm, t I'm telling them the truth. <laughs> right. Okay. And uh, so you know, that's the first one, okay. And uh, so they have to do some adjustment I mean, uh, in, the, in the way they report the internal, yeah. I mean, the internal accounting problem. So do I help them to do that? Then, then in addition to this, uh, then Mr. Craner said, John, you know so much about our company. And this time they, uh, they didn't assign anything. They said, what would I suggest? I mean, to, to the, what can be done. And I said, okay, you got too much waste over there. And uh, every 10 car loads of paper, the board, okay? Uh, yeah. Every car, 10 car load goes in. One car load goes out as waste. Scrap paper become okay. And it, it looks pretty, look kind of high to me. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And they, so they could, uh, they, they, they pick me up because uh, Indianapolis plant is an old plant, okay? Well, they picked up a new plant in Chicago, outside of Chicago, uh, near, near the Chicago airport, and uh, asked me to study. So I, so I, I, I looked over and I, I took a student, uh, I took one of my PhD students stationed over there to collect all the information of what's going on. And uh, then I f we found out it, all to the ten color goes out of the waste, and uh, uh, the forty percent if not one particular operation is it's it's a first big operation where we make a copy of paper. I think there's too much waste over there, and you and the, uh, the paper goes in comes out. They they cut into the boxes. I think there's something they run over there, and uh, already coming out. It's bad bad pieces. And they don't stop it. They keep on coming out. <laughs> and it, there should be some way to monitor. Yeah. I mean, to, so I quality so I, control. So, so, I made, yeah, so I made some suggestion how to talk to monitor the, the operation you know, and and it was installed. And oh, oh, it's a big deal when you change all those. You have to talk to the union and all. <laughs> it's a change of operating page. procedure. Okay, right, <laughs> there you go. wages I mean, the, I mean, the, and the engineering department. They set a stand sure. and all those things. And uh, there we, and that operation after we put it in over there, it did. I mean, I think it was, yeah, it was 4.9 percent and cut down to 3 percent. And uh, according to Mr. Klein, I mean, he said I saved them two million dollars a year per year. Okay. Did they keep the plant in Indianapolis though? Yeah, they still they, 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 they just they, 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 Yeah, I, I wouldn't talk, but it's new. It's a new one. Yeah. New one. Yeah. Okay. 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 And so that was quite happy that. And uh, then I, I mean, the thing is doing well. So in one day, sometime in uh, sixty. So uh, okay, in sixty one, and uh, we were uh, in white of the dean, and I we were going down to. Columbia Club to have lunch with Mr. Craner and uh, I think maybe a few, maybe three other top people over there. And uh, then originally when we took on the, I mean, the executive development program, we were hoping if we do well, we'll ask for a building. I, I told you we were the last meal to them put together <laughs> to get a building, you see. And then halfway, not even halfway, I think near Frank, after Frankfurt or say, I, I told M. Wanda, we, we should change our approach. Today, we're going to ask for a kind of school, just like 
，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯
And John Hicks is you know, on the inside. And You're so on the outside, huh? We were outside. At the top John of the stairs? Hicks, that's right. And the demonstrators were outside. We met with them. Uh -huh. And uh, we were running back and forth on what we uh, decided at a particular time. And I told the demonstrators, we will meet with them. Uh, they have to send a select group of people, not 100 people, <laughs> okay. And I think Representative. We get, that's right, represent. And they get the nine people, and we got nine people, so nine, nine to nine, and then we have uh, nine faculty, nine students, and we will meet together, and we can talk one on one, and uh, to decide what to do, yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh, and after that, uh, this one-to-one -one, um, meeting uh, of the nine, uh, nine to nine, and uh, we made a recommendation to President Hobley and suggested you know, how to handle that. And uh, I got this in my, oh yeah, the uh, archive has this book from me. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, and uh, there was, for me, same price. For him, he would have to pay double. Like this, and he couldn't buy anything, so he finally ended up with buying a lot from the university on the Happy Hollow, I mean, down below over there. And that's what took place. That's all I know personally myself, you see. Uh -huh. And so, I mean, all those things, I mean, the, I mean, the student, I mean, the, the point of student were true at a particular time, right. you see. Uh -huh. And uh, but on, on, and so, so. How do you accept our recommendation? And so that thing was resolved very peacefully. And uh, there was, but not later on, some other one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, right. but that was, that guy, it was very peacefully resolved, yeah. yeah a little problem. So we, we don't have what uh, other people, I mean, other, other universities experience. I mean, we were very glad that thing was settled right, very peacefully. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, okay. Um, the deans you served under, I know, Dr. Weiler and Day and Smith and... Oh, yeah, Weiler, Weiler Day, yeah. Uh -huh. And, and then, of course, yeah, Weiler was a dean, and uh, Day, uh, in, the in, in the very beginning, Day, the Day, and, Stickey, Day and Stickey were to associate in. Okay. And then Stickey left uh, because of uh, her, her personal... Sure. Uh, I mean, and so, so, so Day becomes... A, uh, was only associating, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh -huh. But Weiler's the one that. Weiler, uh, Weiler yeah, w w Weiler was the dean, yeah. Right, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, but but he has uh, the dean associate dean, and uh, and so they control the hiring of the faculty member really, uh -huh. and uh, then and then I mean, uh, the only school on this campus does not have department here. <laughs> Call <laughs> chairman of policy committee. I'm one of those. Okay. You were the chairman, right? Yeah, okay. I'm the chairman of policy committee. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, you knew Cornell Bell, the business. I know company? Cornell Bell. Okay. Right. Uh, Cornell Bell. Okay. Uh, just yeah, like yeah. that particular right. time. Okay. Following that, and uh, then all this different school, they were figuring out what they can do to help the blacks. For diversity and the university. Yeah, the university was doing this, and and so our school we came out the BOP problem, program. And the uh, Cornell Bell was high under that particular. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so right. this is all related to the handling right. of the black. Yeah. What about um, development and advancement? The development office, they, uh, of course, you had the Craner helping you with the school, but was there other development, uh, advancement? Oh, there was, okay, okay. There was no development office at that particular time. Okay. Uh, John Day become the first vice president for development. When he I stepped down think from after the he stepped down from the okay. deanship uh, from the Okay. And uh, to have put big effort in into raising money. Uh, for the university? Uh, for, the, for the university, and it was not a practice until that particular. Now it's all big, now it's totally different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah, right. okay. Uh -huh. okay. Um, you had some visiting professorships. Would you want to make a couple comments on those? Oh uh, yeah, um, I, I, I I really didn't. F uh, you were okay. The first one was uh, to uh, uh, University of Birmingham in right. England. That was, that was a real honor. Okay, and uh, what took place? The 
the dean of the faculty of commerce, I mean, they don't call school, they call faculty, sure. faculty of commerce, yeah, uh, at the Birmingham, uh, after he, re he retired, okay, they, they got a rotating deanship thing, and so uh, I think after a few years, so, so after he come down and he come, he visited the United States and he went to all the different business schools, and uh, so I met him, and uh, so he sat in my class, and uh, a lot of people entertained him. I didn't do, do anything. <laughs> but he, anyway, he, he got to know me. Then after he went back, I think, I think uh, two years later, he wrote me a letter. He wanted me to go over there. He said, and and uh, then over there, they have only one professor per department. Was in the faculty. That's right, in the faculty. I mean, they, 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 the faculty and the school called. They, they, within, the, within the faculty, they called department. Each department has only one professor. And then down below is a reader, and then a lecturer, a senior lecturer, lecturer, assistant lecturer. It really goes along, okay. And uh, I, I, I didn't know the setup. <laughs> I went over there. So I, so I was really as a visiting professor or really a visiting chair of the, of the accounting department, okay, with the business. So, so I, I taught in both um, in business and accounting. And uh, so this was really a enjoyable year, and I learned, and I will learn a lot. I totally changed my uh, view of England after that year. <laughs> yeah. Worked out all right. Yeah. And you also at one time were at Princeton? I, I went to Princeton, okay. and they said the courtesy of Ford Foundation, and I went to the uh, math and the statistics department. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, they, another thing, that I was a United Nations consultant. Right. They said uh, as a, for the Council uh, uh Science and Technology Department mm -hmm. for the Jiangsu Province, and uh, yeah. so yeah, uh -huh. and uh, so this is after I retired, and then in uh, I think eighty eighty eight, and uh, then in year two thousand, and uh, I was invited to visit with a uh, uh, Zhejiang University of Economics and Finance, I think. Oh, yeah, they give me an honorary <laughs> professor. I, <know. laughs> yeah. I read that in yeah. India. That's very yeah, nice. Yeah. Very yeah. nice, yeah. 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 Um, oh, yeah, all the, all the, in addition to that, I uh, uh, the, the city of Tilin in Leoning province uh, appointed me to be their economic advisor and also gave me an honorary citizenship. Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> very nice. And so I, I, I was an honored citizen of the, of, of the city of Tilling, yeah. Uh -huh. Very nice. Yeah. Very uh -huh. nice. Um, you um, talk about family, now you have a wife, do you have children? Yeah, I have okay. two, uh, I have they two they boys. Purdue? They both went to Purdue. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, the older one had, had three degrees, three degrees from Purdue, okay. He got a, uh, oh, oh, let me take a, both of them. Uh, Robert Stott had one half year at a freshman in high school here, okay? okay? And then I sent him out uh, on the second half of the freshman year to Lawrenceville School. Okay, in New Jersey? Uh, in New Jersey, that's right, outside of Princeton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is how I live about Lawrenceville. Well, I, I, if I didn't go to Princeton, I won't know about Lawrenceville. Yeah, okay. And I sent him over there. And, uh, then uh, Frank went early. Frank, after the junior high here, uh, went to Phillips Academy. Uh, in, there are two Phillips Academy in this country, and the one in uh, Andover, Andover uh, Massachusetts, and then Frank went to the Exeter in New Hampshire. Yeah, uh, so they uh, uh, both go there. And then uh, after Robert graduated from Longfield, he went to Brown University, got a, a major in history. And uh, then from Brown, he sailed to uh, Boston College, got a, got a uh, law degree 
på hvor det er så godt at dokter og hvor det er sådan noget Jewish proof Jewish proof things and uh, then after they after he got that and he uh, and he came back to Purdue and he went to uh, econ he was into interested in international trade he asked me where should he go I say I suggest him because I econ some very good um, had some very good international trade uh professor over there and then got a good connection with uh, with Agrico. So I I know Agrico professor that very well. I said, well, this is where you should be, you should go. So it was my suggestion he went over there and I didn't just like expected before he graduated he was hired by USDA. Okay. Oh. And then uh, and uh, and he worked all the way up just below the head of the uh, in, uh the tree the Department of Trade at the USDA, and he was loaned from USDA to the state of California, okay, to become the Deputy uh, Secretary of Food and Agriculture for International Trade, oh, and working for the movie star, Arno. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, right now, he is in China with a uh, with Arno <laughs> and uh, our trade mission, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And your other, what's your other son? The, 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 uh, he's married, but he, he didn't have any uh, children. But uh -huh. uh, uh, the younger one, Frank, uh, is, uh, Frank got two, two degrees from Purdue. And uh, well, like his dad, he picked on his phone, he studied civil engineering. <laughs> And after civil, he got a degree from civil engineering, and then uh, the, aero, the department head of aero school, Henry, persuaded him to switch over to aero school for the graduate work. Uh, well, yeah, okay. Henry started at civil engineering too. Oh, himself. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> and Henry, yeah, you know Henry. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, okay. Sure. Right. Henry was, start, was civil, civil engineering. engineering. Yeah, uh, okay. And he switched to, to the aero, and then he got a master's degree, and he was working on PhD and then got married at that particular time. And I think it must be the marriage was oh yeah. Then yes nearly uh any head surface warfare division it's called surface warfare division come come over here I mean got a very good connection with uh, with with Henry and I asked Henry to suggest uh, people Henry has suggested Frank. So the before, so instead of fin finishing his PhD, the friend went to work <laughs> and uh, went to uh, Washington D.C. He lived in Washington D.C. I mean, the Indian head is in Maryland, and uh, they, they don't want to live in, in, in over there in Maryland, so they live outside of uh, in, in Alexandria, Alexandria, I mean, outside of D.C. So sure. every day he has to long drive. <laughs> he commutes, right? Yeah, come here. Yeah, that's right. He he. Uh, he has three children. Okay. Get this. And he is in charge of making missiles for Navy. Oh. Okay. He's a chief engineer in the in, in the Indian Head Division. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, uh, in charge of making missiles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, let's uh, talk about some of your awards now. One of the, the most recent one was that Consumer and Family Science Community Service Award that you and your wife received. Uh, and you've also received the Pinnacle. Oh, award, Pinnacle. <laughs> Council. The Pinnacle. And uh, I think this is very nice. The plaque in 1987 at Founders Day at the school, at the Craner School, they had a, uh, a program for Founders oh, Day. Oh, 87, like. okay. Uh, yes. That's right, okay. And it, you are the first distinguished Craner professor of the so school. Yeah, that, that's nice. coming from Mr. Craner's special nice. money. <laughs> yeah, okay. Very nice. Um, you want to make a comment uh, on any of these? Anything special? It's very nice. It, how, it, did, did you, how did you uh, receive the Pinnacle Award? Did you know it was coming? Uh, were you uh, and your wife were there? Or did I, 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 I know it's coming. Oh. Oh, 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 let me t tell you about the Pinnacle Award, okay? Uh, I should go back actually earlier, okay? That, that's the Pinnacle Award. Oh. oh, very nice. Okay, that's the last year, okay? Yeah. Uh, this one I, I know is coming, actually. Uh, actually, it's way it, it should go back to earlier, to the uh, distinguished 
fellow member of the President Council. Okay. Uh, in I think the '89 or, or so. Uh huh. That's all right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, after I made my uh, lecturing tour in China in '88. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, uh -huh. and uh, I want trying to figure out wh what could I do to to help them, help China, uh, my my native country, and I decided with my connection with Axco over here, and uh, they were food is always a main concern, uh, you know, a major concern over there at that particular time, so I came back. I see. I mean, uh, we, I, I can help introduce American technology, uh, uh, agricultural technology, uh, to over there, and uh, what, what we have accomplished over there, they should be able to do that also. And uh, and so I went to ag school. I gave them an offer. I say, if they will agree to help me to introduce. American agriculture technology to China, and uh, I'll be willing to give them 21 acres of land here in West Africa. Okay, and uh, that time uh, was in Thompson at that particular time. Mm. Was uh, he dean? agreed, yeah, he agreed, and uh, so I gave them the land, okay, and then that opened the door for me to almost every department. At at school, and and uh, so uh, as a result of, the, but what immediately thing, I also introduced the watermelon, American watermelon, to Shanghai. I saw I mean, that. Okay, that, that's a very interesting thing. I I I had I visited a state farm uh, belong to the city of Shanghai. And at the lunch time, I asked the bureau head of uh, head of the bureau of agriculture over there if he would be interested in watermelon. And the watermelon is over here. Our watermelon, the quality is very consistent. There are no bad ones. I've never experienced any, any bad ones. Right. Okay, it's always very good. Over there. When I was over there, they are good watermelon over there, but it's not very consistent. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Okay, and uh, so I mean, he said, "Yeah, he will be interested." So then I talked to the watermelon professor here in the horticulture. So he made some suggestions, and he picked four varieties and sent over there. So I said for them to plant, and uh, my God, okay, they planted over there, and. Uh, it was a very successful experiment. It's a very successful experiment. And uh, quality just like what I expected. What I didn't expect, they sent me a report, okay, I mean, uh, I told them I, I, I want to report. They sent me a report of what, what they planted and how many the yield per acre. And uh, I found out the yield per acre by weight over there, it's the same as here. Okay, it's a matter of the same as just what, just what I expect. What I what didn't expect, they also sent me, a, for comparison, a Chinese variety, okay. which is very popular over there, and which I think is a, it's a new kind of variety, went over there by way of Taiwan <laughs> and got over there, okay. That particular brand of which I know, uh, the, uh, the new, Precious red, huh? and uh, they, our American watermelons yield is double of that one. Hmm. It's double of that one, you see, mm -hmm. and uh, got English too. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Well, I'll make okay. a note. Okay, this is watermelon. Oh yeah, okay. Wonderful. He's showing this in the book. That's a watermelon. Very, very wonderful. Okay. 
that six thousand Chinese pound per Chinese mu, okay? <laughs> and uh, and it, uh, this is a local variety. They produce that much. This is American watermelon. You can see. <laughs> okay. And uh, then, we, because of that, I become famous over there. They say I'm the, You're the watermelon <laughs> person, right? Seed expert. <laughs> For watermelon, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'll continue on, on that, okay? And, uh, and also, no, I, uh, let's continue with that. Uh, more to uh, let's just stay with this. Then, I mean, the science and technology of the Chiang Plan who invited me for the 88 trip. So they asked me to go back over there in 1994, want me to talk about seed. So I don't know anything about other seed other than watermelon, or they want to talk about uh, corn and uh, this kind of thing. So I invited a friend of mine who used to be a professor in the agronomy, and he got his own seed company that time in last year, in LK. And, uh, yeah, okay. So that's him, okay. Uh, okay. So you went and, over Yeah, that, that's right, okay. And so, so we went together, okay. And then before that, we, no, this come later. So we talked to the, uh, in Jiangsu, from, he, he gave his lecture. Then I did a translation for, for what he, he said, and, and I translation, okay. So, then, so that's the 1994 trip, right? and so on that one. Then, what's really big of a corn and those things is in Northeast China, where I got my honor of citizenship and economic device, okay. So they, I think a year later, they got a delegation to Washington D.C. and talk to USDA people, and uh, they are coming. USDA people in Washington D.C. they come to, they should come here to Purdue, and uh, end up t I mean, uh, with me, okay? And uh, they were the telephone c call came from Columbus, Ohio. Ohio. They were visiting Ohio State, and they ended up with a telephone call to me. So I invited my friend. <laughs> so we rented a van, went over there to pick them up, brought them over to last year, and showed them every all the seed operations over here. And uh, they, this one, including the head of the Bureau of Finance, head of the Academy of Agriculture, and all, all those people. Uh, and uh, he said, oh, they, could, they, they told me they were invited us back. They did. And uh, I think a, a year later, and so we went over there, and so that's that's how we went over there. And then we gave them, uh, I think, over, over 500 pounds of seed, corn, soybean, and wheat. Okay, corn, soybean, and wheat. And uh, then this this is our American corn growing over there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and they really appreciate that. That's how I become the. For one year they give me economic advisor, next year become an honorary citizen. I, and I was going there, I think for three, four years every year, <laughs> that particular time, okay. And so this, this is what I was doing on my own as a result of my gift. Yeah, still become interested in me because he know I have given gift to, to the Purdue, or for, to the ASCO, okay. And so they all become interested, that, that was starting from my gift. Then, Around that particular time, I also brokered the uh, MOU, the Cooperation Agreement, Memorandum of Understanding, uh, between Purdue and the China Agriculture University. Between the, but this is on the academic side, okay? And in the very beginning, it's not much activity over there. there is this thing had to grow big. They now have, China Agriculture University have sent to us 45 undergraduate students paid by their own family, not by China Agriculture University, not by Purdue. 
They pay by, by their own families. Okay. In their senior year, th these are top students, a very good record. They have come in here, they got a joint degree. No, no, they got two degrees. They got a Purdue degree. Oh, they come here? They okay. come here, yeah. They, 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 got, they got a Purdue degree, and also they got a China Agriculture University degree. Okay, I, and uh, so I really have to give credit to, to, to X school they, they're making. And, and then this year, this year, and, since they, and they got a Purdue Day celebration in May. Okay, they got a Purdue Day celebration in May, and uh, Franz Cordova went over there. And uh, so that's the reason I went there this year in May, you see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I see. And, uh, and, but but that, the original MOU was, uh, yeah, was brought over by me, okay. But this time, you see, Cordova signed, I <laughs> believe, over there, okay. okay. <laughs> but but so this one, I, you did I that got one, right? <laughs> <coughs> See if I got over here. Yeah, okay. Okay, it's not over here. That's not okay. That's, right. That's, That's all right. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit, uh, switch gears a little bit. The um, bio. Processing technology, you're the oh. co-founder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bioprocessing technology. And that's, that's still going. That's still going. Uh, that, 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 that's very interesting, it? okay? The bioprocessing technology uh, is me, Professor Ching, and the Dr. Xu of the food science department, mm -hmm. okay? Is it located here in Lafayette? Located here in, in Lafayette, okay. and uh, that deals with the invention of corn ethanol by them. Okay, and uh, Purdue had applied for the patent, but they haven't got I mean, okay. in the in the final stage over now. Okay, and uh, uh, so I am the CEO of the of the uh, of the company Bioprocessing and uh, mm -hmm. deal with a big businessman. And uh, this is a process, all is, when you hear about this corn ethanol thing, they depend upon Uncle Sam's subsidy. They cannot survive without Uncle Sam's subsidy. And he is the first one to come up with a, process, with, with, a with, with a way of producing corn ethanol uh, that is economical without, that can be economical without government subsidy, for one. Two, and uh, his method is the only one that's, the, the manufacturing itself is environmentally friendly. And uh, the present method of making corn ethanol is not environmentally friendly. Why? Because there are two different methods, one called dry grind, one called wet milling, okay? Dry ground method, and uh, the main product ethanol, and uh, the only one byproduct by is distilled grain, is the feed, uh, the hog, uh, hog feed. Uh -huh. But distilled grain is smelly stuff, you know that? <laughs> and uh, so the problem has never been solved. And then the wet milling is uh, use sulfuric acid as a way of breaking the corn in the initial process. And that sulfuric acid ends up with smelly things also. And uh, in South Maine, we got a, a, we got a wet milling plant over there during the, uh, the oil first start, I think during the first oil, after the f f oil crisis in the early 80s, or I mean, all the concerts mm -hmm. over there. And they still have that problem of the sulfuric acid because sulfur smell, I mean, uh, discharge, okay. And, uh, and uh, the Chen and Xu method, do not, it does not, we, don't, we don't use sulfuric acid. And we have n no distilled uh, uh, grain, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and then we, it's cheaper too. <laughs> sure. Yeah, uh, they not only be making ethanol, uh, there are other co-products and uh, which really 
uh, add up together, the revenue from the coal products could be more than the ethanol. Sounds good. Okay, and uh, the only, good. but I have a sub-licensee, a sub-licensee, sub and uh, he, he's very ambitious We Three Rivers. Uh, he wants to build nine plants over the United States, and he's so ambitious. And his plan was uh, 248 million gallons per plant a year. You know, it costs a lot of money. And uh, then, uh, then the financing, he almost got the money in by 2008, and later the financial meltdown came. <laughs> <laughs> when I got mail out came and uh, it got stalled, but now they're talking again. I mean, the, I mean the, they're, they're talking again, so I keep my fingers crossed and if right. they solve that particular problem, is we we'll probably see. Is the plant in West Lafayette or in Lafayette? Uh, no, it, it's not in operation yet. Oh, I see. It's, it's on, only in the planning stage. Okay. Only okay. in the planning stage, okay. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, so if it takes off, it will have a very, very significant impact on ag school because the revenue expect to get through the royalty of my French uh, uh, yeah, licensing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh -huh. um, you, the, you mentioned earlier you were the uh, first director of the West Lafayette Human Relations Commission, weren't you? So yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that was during the. <laughs> right, yeah. Any other community, local community activities that you've been involved in since you retired? Uh, since my since the retirement, you know, I've been busy with other things. Yeah, okay. the, all these other things. Yeah, I didn't sure. take on any other things. Yeah, right. all of okay. I mean, yeah. And I think this is very nice that you've given the papers to the Virginia Kelly Carnes Archives and Special Collections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Uh, and um, we, we appreciate having those. Okay, so and and uh, if you've got the, more, we'll always there, 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 there will be more to come yet. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> um, couple things on uh, some of the highlights of your retirement. I know you've mentioned some of them, but are there any others that you'd like to share with us that you've been doing since you retired? Oh, since I uh, retired, okay. Uh, some of them. Okay, half talked. of my time is on my family route. Right. And, uh, Which uh, is coming along very nicely. Yeah, it, it came out very nicely. And uh, the Vita, your Vita mentioned it. Yeah, yeah. It was very good. Okay, now this is the latest one. That's my... Oh, okay. This is a handout of my, uh, my talk in China in May. Oh, okay. Okay, and... Uh, this one in May 27 in Shanghai. This is May 19 in Beijing. But this one, um, uh, that's together with a with a Purdue Day a China Agriculture University. Okay, since I was a father, and then I got sick in Beijing, <laughs> went to the hospital for three days, so I couldn't do that. So that I only gave them the this one. But this I did give the speech in uh, in Shanghai, okay. and uh, this talk about my ancestry. This is my family tree. On the wall over there, the yellow thing over there. Mm -hmm. It's 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 that thing. And uh, uh, that's me. These are my children. And uh, these are my brothers and sisters. They are there. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that's me over here. That's my father and the name. Uh, I mean, all these five generations is from a city just west of Shanghai, okay, in, in the Jiangsu province. Mm -hmm. then, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Then before that, on this one, and uh, my father told me five you know, prior to the five generations, and uh, our ancestors came from Shaoxing in Zhejiang province. Oh yeah, oh, by the way, we have a sister state relationship with Zhejiang province, Purdue. Oh, no, no, the state of Indiana, okay. Had a sister um, uh, in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is all the, so the place where the great Yu emperor, the great Yu was there, the great Yu was a flat tamer. And uh, he was the emperor 
in the year 2002 BC, and he died over there and was buried over there in my ancestral city. Okay, and uh, so so I so so I was able to get hold of the family tree. Uh, extra family tree records from the city. For the content record, I will talk about. Okay, that, that's what I got. Okay, right, and, and, yeah. this, okay. and then this could come to the Tang Dynasty and to a prime minister over there, and then coming to how we got started in, at the Confucian time, and uh, it's 487 BC, the famous mm-hmm. And then also because we got a Viscount state or two, because one emperor, the two dynasty emperor overthrew this, and could all those things. And uh, so I got. All these things were all in written literature, so I got all those. And uh, then what took me in the last 22 years is to determine that particular day, 105 OBC. <laughs> okay, and uh, then not only from 105 OBC, uh, to, to get this date of uh, 2403 BC for the Yellow Emperor. Okay, that um, I was spending all these books. They are all related to that particular project. I'm still working on that. Oh. Okay, I, I, what I want to do, is, I, mean, I think I told you about, uh, about the change of the history textbook. Right. I want the Chinese government to change the, the textbook over there and to make the ancient China chronology back to what it should be, not what it is. Uh, that's a big project. <laughs> I would think so, yes. Very big. It's a very, very big project. Big challenge. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh-huh. All it's right. a big, very, And uh, then this is about Hmong faces, my definition of the Hmong faces. Oh, by the way, one of those days, and I hope British Encyclopedia will change the definition of what it is quite like the Hmong faces. <laughs> it's not quite, and uh, that's right, yeah. I mean, in the same way, I want, I, I would like to the Chinese historian to accept the scientific fact of what moon faces really are. You okay. see, uh-huh. and see. they got the wrong kind of concept of what the moon faces are. <laughs> <laughs> and they, 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 they over here, this is only my one five OBC is correct, everybody else is <laughs> not quite right. <laughs> And That's a big, big project. This is a big, really big well this, this, this is a big, big project. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. you've done a big, really big well project. With yeah. Uh-huh. Right. Um, anything that I forgot to ask that you would like to share with us? It's something that uh, you'd like to elaborate a little bit on. I'll leave it up to you. Oh yeah, no, you're okay. working. Okay. I, uh, I haven't. You haven't yes. got the answer for the global scholarship. Okay. About the about the award from the consumer and family. Consumer and family sign. Right. Okay. Uh, two, three years ago, Consumer and Family Science come to me, want me to give, make a contribution to this thing. Is that something that you started? The Global to? Scholar. Oh. Okay. Oh, it already was going? Called Global Scholar? It's already going. Okay. Uh, and uh, so I have just given them the food check today. <laughs> what is what is that? Uh, the global now scholarship? I started, th- 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 this, this year is the third year, so. 209 to 08, starting 208. Okay. So I, so, so I pledge to give them $20,000 a year for 35 years. 35 years? That's right, so it's $700,000 altogether. Okay. Okay. So that, that's got this thing over there. And uh, this is why I got into talking about the ag school gift. Okay, then I have given to ask school the land of 20, 20 acres, which they got $2,100. And then, plus, oh yeah, oh yeah. In addition to that license of bioprocessing technology, I'm giving ask school some more money, research money, okay? Uh-huh. Um, corn stock ethanol. So, Emma and I, we have a special gift to food science department for cellulosic ethanol okay. research. Right. Okay. 
And uh, they... Wait, let me ask you this. The Global Scholars, who are the recipients of the Global Scholars? Is it from the Consumer and Family Sciences? Yeah. Their students? For, for students of the... All right. Uh, Consumer and Family Sciences, okay. And uh, all these other awards, I mean, the, they all come really start with this one. Oh. Okay, that leads on to all, all these other things, yeah. Uh, but uh, we, uh, Consumer and Family Sciences, we have a long, and I, have a long relationship uh -huh. before that. Okay. Now, <laughs> we have a yeah, yeah. now we have but a different. Yeah, now we have different. Now we got more. Okay. Now. We have a different name for yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. They continue with the uh, with the uh, health and the human sciences. They call right. health, human science. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. To continue right. with that. Okay. And uh, so, so this gift and uh, the gift to the air school. Oh yeah. Then also, um, uh, amazing. I have a gift to the international program, a $50 gift to the for Chinese history. Okay, so when you add all these things up, it gets over a woman in arms. Okay, you this is what led to the pinnacle <laughs> award, I okay. I see. And uh, the one million dollar is a threshold. I mean, you have to, I mean, to, to give that much money to, to get to that award, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's very nice. Yeah, okay. Giving so back is wonderful. Yeah. And uh -huh. I've interviewed quite a few people, and, and giving back is very re rewarding. Uh -huh. And the, your legacy is the students, the people that are going to benefit by this. Yeah. yeah uh -huh. The scholars. Yeah. Uh, you've given something to hospitality and uh, tourism, haven't you, within the consumer and family science? Yeah. Or uh, helping out a little bit with the people that uh, go over there? Uh, that's tourism? right. And okay. these scholars. And they would be part of the Global Scholars? Yeah, that's right. Okay, okay. And uh, I think half of them are hospitality okay. management uh, okay. uh, right now. I mean, about, uh, in the past, okay. But it will be different from sure. <laughs> next year. <laughs> yeah, they are more, yeah. Uh -huh. Right. This, yeah, I mean, uh, the, so every year, okay, this, this is associating of uh, diversity and international programs. At consumer family science, and uh, they either take the same position with the new school also, okay. And uh, then uh, uh, ha, I I believe the, all these pictures. Of, ha ha ha! I mean, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. There is also a plaque in the consumer family That's science. Right. Good picture. Yeah. Good okay. Picture. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, so that, that covers anything uh, in closing that uh, I forgot to ask that you'd like to share with us. Anything that I, I may have forgotten that comes to mind. Uh, well, I think a, we covered pretty much. I think we covered pretty much. Yeah, 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 nice. yeah, yeah. It's, it's just wonderful. Uh, uh -huh. Your many contributions uh -huh. and what you've done, and it's it's just been a pleasure for me to be able to meet and, and chat with you. Uh, yeah. I want to thank, <laughs> yeah, you. Okay. thank you very much.